Welcome to Steery Boy's Adventures. In life, sometimes we just have dreams. And this was one of those. One of those dreams that they just seem too far out of reach to become a reality. But then sometimes those dreams do become real. After a year of planning, the day finally arrived when our adventure began chasing moose deep in the Alaskan wilderness. Well, we got through with our big packs uh, on to Anchorage. Stay tuned. At this point, we were super excited and we thought we could handle whatever Alaska would throw at us. But after a few close encounters with grizzlies and getting stuck out in the mountain, almost dark, getting cliffed out and experiencing the brush and the, the depth of the mountains in Alaska, we soon learned different. At the trailhead, ready to head up. It's gonna be a long hike. We got about 12 miles and about a couple thousand feet in elevation. I'm not even sure, three, four thousand feet in elevation to where we're gonna be camping for tonight. Uh, I'm trying to get up on the ridge so we can spot. Hoping to be there by this afternoon. It wasn't long that we started seeing a ton of animals and our excitement was growing. Got a bear over there. There's another one right there. Think that's good? There he is, no, you can see him, look. Big black spot. Yep, yep. He's back in, black. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I wanted to see a grizzly, you know? You could get close to him, but... I think this is the first time I've seen a grizzly in the wild. We started all the way from the other end from, of the lake this morning. Hiked all the way up through there. About 3,500 feet of elevation. We just sat and watched a gri grizzly over on the far heel slide for a while. Big silver tip. And, uh... Right up there's the pass that we've got to go across to about another 500 feet in elevation and about a mile. So, see you there. Well, we thought we were almost there, but that one mile turned into two, then three miles. Our packs were heavy and we were starting to wear out. Suddenly we ran into this sheep hunters and they had just come down from the pass and here's what they had to say. So we talked with those sheep hunters down there and they said there's some two big rams right up on the other side of that ridge. Um, we're gonna try to get some footage. I don't know, moose hunting, but we like sheep. Anyway, they said that they were up here on the ridge on this path that we're going up on. And they seen like 36 
moose on the other side in a couple of 65 plus intervals. Whew. Can't wait. Two grizzlies on either end guarding them. Sounds like a story, but we're about to find out. Bunch of tired boys. Finally got to the pass. When we finally got to the top, all we saw was about 50 sheep. But it didn't take us long to realize we were just in the wrong draw. decision kind of we're not sure yet uh, there's I don't know sizes I'd say easily 60 inches four to five roll tides I mean, so. it's only 30 minutes of daylight remaining we knew we had to make it happen now or never He's got velvet on him, I think. Hey guys, they're finishing up their packs. We got a behemoth down and we're excited. He is way down yonder, about 200 yards. Can maybe see his horn sticking out the center of the camera. Wow, this is you amazing. Go we just gotta go down and keep the bears away. We just What a behemoth. Wow. Oh, that thing's super sick. Holy Check God. this out, people. This is a beast. What? Wow. It's a lot of horn. Oh my, look at the size of that thing. Dude, this back is so unique. Velvet. Just twisted. Got a lot of velvet on there. Double. Brow tines there. Just another, like a double palm there. There's like a double palm there. Check that out. The thing with that side is just insane. Twist it up. There's another double palm. So you move those leaves, you can see them. Wowzers, that's a lot. As big as we what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? First moose in Alaska. We're like, uh. Unspeakable. 10 miles from the road, maybe? Just look at the. It's just been an incredible day already. We had what, probably 12, 14 miles at least. I'd say. Did about over 4,000 feet of elevation. And then 1,500 coming back down. Came right up over there, right up over. We all had a great 
It's just insane. Wow, this experience is just so totally. I think I'm gonna come up here and hunt every year. <laughs> this is just going twice a year. Wow. You want to help me move this top behemoth? Look at the character in this thing. Oh, right along his belly there now. Oh, over here now. Got a velvet on it. It's just insane. Ugly, beautiful bro. velvet. And it's 65 inches, green score. 66. We measured 66. Huh? That one. This is ridiculous. Okay, There's the horns moving up. Okay, you guys want to lift it up? That's ridiculous. That one is. Heading to camp. I'll tell you how much it weighs in a while. We're finally getting there. Finally getting it. Yeah. Got everything as cleaned up as you can clean everything up. You know, 10 miles from anything. But <laughs> I think everything, everybody's whooped. We're about yeah. as tired as four. as four boys could be. Yeah, somebody's already sacked out. <laughs> you got cream Gee. mac and cheese for you out here. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. More than worth it. It's insane. That's our view from the tent this morning. Wow, that's beautiful. I slept all right, but I think <laughs> every muscle in my body hurts. Oh. Morning, kids. We are live. What is happening for the day? Did you guys get a good night's sleep? Wakey, wakey. It's doing hard. The other one's not responding. Still with us today, Vern? These guys have had it. We overworked him yesterday. And, uh, yeah, they're not getting up. Got a man down. He didn't make it over the first ridge. See him right there? The head and everything. Uh, I think we're loaded a little too much. I'd say we're all a little amount above 100 pounds. Ready? Take it easy. <laughs> you got it? You need to like tighten this thing. Yeah, he dumped. We'll be there soon. Take a nap. After getting out that night, we weighed our packs and discovered they were 135 pounds. Definitely more than we expected. I hope you enjoyed this hunt. But don't forget, join us for part two as James takes down a 65 inch bull and we get caught out in the dark amongst five grizzlies. Thanks for watching.